You there once again, folks. It's David with the UFO Dave page on Facebook. Back at the lake and going back to the cave. The water level is super high now. Much higher than the last time I came out, which was only last week or so, a couple weeks. Uh, so I'm heading past that boat, around the corner, and to the lake. Super high water line, so we might be able to get a straight view right into the uh, right into the cave. The weather might turn, so it might get inclement, but we'll see. Yeah, boat's ready to go. Off we go. So we're just finished my thought. There's so many eagles around here. From last week. Look at that. Okay, all the way up the side of this mountain. A big slash and chunks taken out. But on a much larger scale than what we've been looking at. All the way up here, you can see the scars on this mountainside where the trees aren't growing. Yes, there's rocks there, but there's rocks all the way around. Anyhow, there were much, much larger creatures here, or are. Where they are, who knows? Maybe they eradicated them all populated these areas and the creatures weren't fully eradicated and now they're coming back starting small making big holes in rocks like that taking chunks out of these rocks like that looks to me like a big area where something would sit and those white marks on the rocks again they seem to be always around these areas like uh, Sort of a big seating area, like a big comfy chair, this thing here, this rock indentation. But all the way up the side of the mountain, there's, you can see there's giant scars on the side of this mountain. But the water level is so much higher. All these rocks that were, these piles of rocks that were all the way around here are now underwater. It's been raining a lot. There's a lot of debris in the water. But the water level is so high right now, I had to come out. So let's check it out. We're going around that corner. Again, these white. It's lichen. But there's claw marks all through that. All through those areas where there's these white marks. And what looks like, uh, like a giant eagle. I mean, a giant bird poop all over a rock but this is gallons in some cases like <laughs> unbelievable how how much poop but it looks like birds poop versus solid poop that I've collected in Richmond anyhow preserving battery on our way around the corner see what we can see at the cave as I'm getting closer to this indentation you can see not only this big slash has taken out a giant portion of the rock, but also on the side with the triangular marks. TP shape. And there's one right there. That whole section of rock, when you, when you come back from it, you can see a triangle with a chunk of rock just taken right out of there. That's about, you know, three feet wide. And then there's Going up the side, you can see, do, 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 up the side, and there, pathway, up to higher rocks, and going all the way up. Oh, there's an eagle, look at that. Woo, just flew right past. Awesome. Anyhow, back to monster hunting. Yeah, it has a whole different look when you come right up on it from the water, but look at this indentation. We're gonna hit the rocks. I'm just trying to videotape here. But, oh my goodness, look at all these fresh, boom, 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 and look at that. 
okay? Comes right up out of the water, comes up here, either up on the rocks, look how flat it is up here. And look at all the sharp claw marks on these rocks. All the chunks taken out. That's a giant claw mark, man. That is a giant claw mark. And then right across the rock, slashes across the rock. Uh, big slice in the rock right there. Big slice. So it comes up here. Look, you can see right there. All these triangles right there. Triangles, triangles everywhere. And look. Look how fresh that is, okay? It comes up out of the water. Goes up the rocks here. This is the path. You can see the path it takes. And look, freshly exposed. Okay, that ground, that earth is freshly exposed and it goes up from the water up into the woods right through there you can see where it goes I could probably bring my kayak up here and get out of it but look at the scratch marks along the rocks here giant scratch marks claw marks like all over these rocks and this is at the very you can you can hear the children in the background playing in the children's play area back there but yeah you can see going all the way up here it goes up the other way as well not only does it go that way, where the, where the dirt is, but it also goes up this way. You can see the path it takes right up through there. And look how smooth it is. Smooth right down. All these chunks taken out of this rock. Just clawed right out. And look, right here. That is a claw mark that gouged from the left side, jagged, 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 and took that whole section of rock out. Anyway, being here with it, with the water level so high, is a whole different, you can see much different things here. And look, right on the rock, right on the rock, that is a claw mark right there on the rock, big claw mark. Anyway, I don't want to waste the battery. Look at all of this stuff. It's all just flattened down here, flattened. And there's areas where little chunks have been taken out. Gouges in the rocks and pieces just scratched right off the top of the rocks. And then there you go, up into the woods. Okay, onward, we're gonna continue along all these scratch marks, like the underside of that rock, it's just been scratched and scratched, big claw marks all along here, it's just all along here. Anyway, onward, we're heading that direction. We have those scratch marks on the rocks. We hit the rocks. Okay, so look. This area here it's come right up it's made it it's made its own little way up where it's gone up here up 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 into a little nest up here and look scratch the rock up there all up scratch there up there look at that and all over this rock here all scratched up and these, look at this. I mean, look at that big chunk taken out. And all these scratches along the top of this rock face. Just gouged out chunks of rock. But yeah, this little, I'm trying to move myself along here. I've been ugh, beached. No, oh, I'm sorry. But look. It's made itself a little, and there's claw marks coming up from underneath. And it comes up, and that looks pretty, pretty darn fresh. Look, it's matted down. It's all matted down there. In this direction, coming towards the water. And up there, the nest behind a bunch of rocks. It's scratched out the underside of that rock and then up on top there you can see again scratch marks on the rocks this is where kids have partied but like I said before I would not
come here to party. And you can pause this and just see how many scratch marks are there are on the rocks. And the side ones, like this one, I've taken photos of this one before. It's probably just gouged out the rock to get down into the water. Right here, just sits up on here. And the higher the water level, again, we've got little notches in there. A little tiny notch. But, uh, I don't know, all these triangular marks, everything, look at this. But again, there's this red. It could have eaten something right there. Will the cops test that for blood? Human blood? They will not. Kids party right here. Let me hold on, I'm moving. I'm going back and back and back. You can see the scratch marks on the rocks. Anyway, I want to go in the other direction. Yeah, so this whole thing, look at the redness in there. I don't know what that is, but that looks like blood to me. Oh, it's just lichen, wet lichen. It's right down in there, and look at all the scratch marks on these rocks. Gouges, taking out chunks of rock. But yeah, definitely, uh, it uh, sits right here in this little indentation. It's made this little indentation, in my opinion. You can see all the scratches where it's just made its bed. Made a nice little resting spot. And then comes up and down. Anyway, I was saying, the higher the water level, the different uh, axis, you know, this is that big gouge that I was showing from across the lake. Big chunk taken out right there. And that's literally four feet, five feet tall, that gouge right there. And you know, there's another triangular gouge in the rock. I mean, they're everywhere. You know. And different areas where there's redness. But smoothed areas, look, see this is smooth. So the higher the water level, the easier it is for, for it to come up on this spot. Which it has, because you can see the you can see the uh, claw marks in the rocks sideways along the rock as it came up, and then it scratched right there to get up, and then left a big slice right there as it came up out of the water, left a chunk of rock taken out there, but all smoothed down leading into and out of the water. Look at that big chunk taken out of the top of that rock there. So these could be, you know, small sized or as they grow up, I mean, if there's mountain sized, you know, uh, chunks taken out of the side of a mountain, these same claw prints multiply by 30 or 40 times or more, then these things are growing, you know? The ones that are small today in who knows how long. <sighs> anyway, look at all the, up there, all the rock destruction there. You can see that it's come up and just <sighs> destroyed the rock. Just coming up out of the water. Anyway, onward. Just, you can see from a distance better some of these giant chunks taken out of the rock. Pathways up into the mountainside. Look right there on the side of that rock. Just chunks taken out of it. We're gonna hit something here, folks. Oh, yeah. But yeah, all along these rock faces just big slash right there. That's three and a half feet, four feet across, and then continues back there, like a follow through. Look, it's like a, around this way, slice across there and up there. That's a total of about eight feet across, and then it continues along there. If I went back, you could probably see a big slash across this entire face, across this entire rock face. 
and then slashes look up here. Big slice in the rock, taking out chunks. And we're gonna get waves and then uh, past it as well. This comes up out of the water, these things come up out of the water and then it makes big scratches along the rocks like that. This would be very treacherous coming along here, trying to get at it from the top. There's one up here, big triangular chunk taken out. There. Ah, oh, battery's dying. Okay, continuing on. That entire section of rock taken right out. And look at all the marks on the rocks. That whole section, that's four feet wide. And that entire section of rock just taken out. The scratch marks along the rocks on the side. Came up out of the water. Whatever it was, took that giant chunk of rock out of that. And look at all the destruction on the rock face here too. And this was a pile of rocks that I was probably, I don't know, 10 feet down, maybe, maybe eight feet down looking at. And this one as well, this is diminished because of the, the rise in the water level. You can see off the top of that rock, just that all that rock just scraped right off. And then again, it makes its, here you go, makes this little coming up out of the water. Rocks broken. Look at that one there. Holy crap. On both sides. And then can go up from here, up into the woods, up the hill. Straight up. You can see the pathway it takes, or has made, to go up there. With this little semicircular area. It's been scratched out. All these rocks, I would say, are from this whole area here. that have been scratched out over hundreds of years. Like up here, there's... Man, that's a nest. You can see the piles of rocks that have been piled up. And a slice mark right on the side of that one. Well, it just chills here. But I think the water level is too high for it to use this nest now. So it just goes elsewhere. Goes to the one along the way. There's an indentation right there with a rock sitting up on it. It was chewing on that rock. It took that rock up onto that little flat area and was chewing on it. Okay, went up the side there, up on the top of that rock and was chewing on that one right there. It just kind of selects them from its little pile. And then on the side of that, you can see the triangular big chunk taken out. That's two feet wide. One up on the rock there, rock face. Where is that one? Look at that. It's a giant claw print, folks. And then another little sort of indentation just below it. Like when the water level's that high, redness again. Okay, redness, white, this red and white. From where there's an indentation, where it sat here, there's a little hole in the rock right there. But it sat here and may have consumed something because there's redness and then there's this white in this little indentation in the rock, in the side of the rock face. And when the water level's a little bit higher, it just sits up there. Look at the scratch marks all around that. Like that's been gouged out, that whole little section. see the red and the white again where it's gone up to this little pathway that it's made to go up there and then the red and the white and then that will go go to that next big old gouge taken out of the rock there's another one right beside it then this area again big chunks of rock taken out of there flattened down smooths down areas when the water level's higher, that little ch that section there has been ravaged by claws. You can see chunks taken out with claw marks sideways. Up 
of the rock face up here. That triangular. And then we saw this one in one of the last videos I took going to the cave. There's another cave where it can just come right up out of the water. No effort required. I'm gonna go over and check that out. There's something in there. You can see the slices in the rock on the other side. I'm trying to angle myself towards this cave here. like a chip bag or something. Definitely. Hmm. And the grass. Remember, nice lush, grassy. And you can see coming up out of here, okay, it comes right up out of the water. And then up the side the side here. Look, you can see that's fresh. It's like millions of years old and goes up onto the top there. And look at all the scratch marks in that boulder. Coming out of the water, all these triangular marks, big chunks, the entire thing right there. That is a chunk taken out. That's like three feet, four feet. And it starts up here. You can see where it starts. That's a giant claw took that out. Giant, you know, we're... If you want to think dinosaur, if you believe in that shit, then go ahead. The size of a dinosaur. Anyway. Big chunks taken out of these rocks and slices. here no effort required look at these little tiny rocks too it's just sat and chewed these little tiny rocks and chewed big rocks and this whole area takes on a whole different appearance when the water is high that rope is for kids to climb up so they can jump off the rocks into the water when it's lower you can see all the big scratch marks on the side of that and all the way going up the hill all the way going up the side of this up onto the flat areas and you can see how it's flat Nice and smooth down up there. This thing is gone. Literally, you can see where that says, there's an asshole on the rocks. You can see it's indented where it's come up and made an indentation as it's come up the side of that rock face up onto the smooth area. And this whole area is now easily accessible from the water. That's why it's so smooth. So when the water level is higher, it has better access to different areas. Onward to the cave. See how it has nice, easy access to some of these nests now? This is being used on a regular basis. Boom. Holy crap. I mean, look, when the water level's high, this is just so obviously just such a perfect nest. For it to come right up here, nothing will bother it. It's semicircular. It's, it's gouged out. It's created this. I swear to God, it's gouged this entire area out. You can see all the claw marks, all the gashes in the rock and everything. That's its nest right there. Look, and all the semicircular rocks pushed to the side in a, in a circle. You know, this whole area here, just been, the rock, the big rocks have been pushed to the side and it's, it scratches on the rock faces back here where it's made it wider for itself. It uses this on a regular basis when the water level's up here. I swear, I guarantee you, look at that. That's a nest right there. And then all along these rocks, just gouges and cut marks and triangles all along where it's come up out of the water. That's why they're on the bottom. That's why they're on the underside of these rocks. 
It's because it's come up out of the water, clawing its way. Look, that entire section right there has been removed. As it claws its way up, and it could go sideways then, right to the nest. As I was saying, anyway, claws its way up out of the water. My battery died again, and look, this whole section of rock, this whole section has been taken out. Just falls down into the water. And again, red and white, don't know what it is, but let's go along here, one-handed paddling, and look, is in these nest areas, it looks like blood. I gotta say, this red and white area, and look, the moss up there, the grass, and look, white areas back there where it's, it's pooped. Chunks taken out of the rocks everywhere. And this red and white. It's another nest, just a little ways along. That one, then this one, nice flattened area. And when the water's water level is nice like this, look, whoosh, it slides right up. Claws its way a little bit, taking chunks of rock out. Out of the side there. Doing a little rodeo riding here as the waves are coming in, but look, you can just see it comes right up here. Slides right up on the shoreline, up onto the flat areas. Look at that. Wow, that big chunk right there. This section, the bottom one down here, the top one up here, and this right here. Oh, and there, down there as well, this thing right here all been taken out, big chunks. And the one up on the side, you can see there, this this uh, kind of a triangular notch, and then a slice down here. Yep. Big chunks taken out of the rock face. Onward, because I'm on my last battery and I haven't even made it to the cave yet. Oh. My. God. Look how high the water level is now. Look at those scratch marks along that rock. It's about a 10 foot opening, vertical, probably two and a half, three feet wide. It's wider than it was when I came before. And look at that, oh man, just the scratch mark, claw marks, three of them, okay? Look, one, two, three. All these scratch marks, triangular rocks. This is dripping with water here, so it's nice and moist. It's been opened up inside. It's much wider inside than it is on the outside. going to be using this a lot now. Ease of access. Like I said, there used to be a couple of pancake-like rocks up there. But now, I don't see them. Just a stick. A branch. The cave goes around the side as well. Gotta hold this best I can, hold myself here. I'm right up against it here now. Look at this. I mean look at these 
jagged claw marks. Just getting banged up against the rocks here, so I apologize for that, folks, but I'm just trying to hang on. All of these jaggedy claw marks and triangular marks along here where it's clawed out this home. Fresh, fresh rock exposed. And it goes back. Looks very mossy in there. Um, gosh, man. I don't know how I can get out of this kayak and get in there, but I don't see any bones or carcasses of any animals. scratched out as well. I mean, inside there it's been completely, I'm just moving away from the rocks, getting banged around too much. Look at those claw marks. Look at that. And the, the rocks there. And above that, there was a triangular, see that triangular mark? There was a claw mark. Four claws that have gone now. So, was that in lichen? And now the lichen is gone, is dead. And then the fresh green as well. And on the outside, like I showed before, there's this big old rocky area where it can come up on the outside and come right up on these rocks. Again, there's red, whether it's lichen that's created or grows because it's slithered over these rocks or what, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, I'm an investigator. Look at the big slice in that rock. That is a giant slice that goes all the way down. But as we saw in the last video, this entire area from a distance, you can see it is it's literally giant claw marks that created this. All right, let me get back to the cave here and see what I can see. Okay, getting tossed around here a bit, but just fascinated by these big scratch marks. Look, it goes all the way up and around. Scratch, big old gouge, and a scratch. And this is like that. And even down to the very smallest, smallest little indentations here. Smallest little indentations where the claws come in. You can see this one's fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Where it's come and taken this section of rock out here. And here and destroyed this. Fresh pieces of rock coming off that. Look at this. Look at this. Fresh pieces of rock coming out. I'm trying to get a piece of this, but I think it's just freshly damaged. Look at that. Wow. I'm trying to get a piece off of this. Look at that big slice mark in the side there, too. Down the ground. Right there. It's a big slice right through the right through the rock. And those big claw marks coming up. Look at that, right there. A little teeny slice, just how fine that is, how sharp those claws are. How sharp that is right there at that point. All the slice marks in the rock. Coming up to the cave. Where it's taken out chunks of rock, pieces of rock, triangular shapes all over the place. See what we can see inside here. The slice marks in here.
even on the top of this rock right here, the, the whole section is just gouged out. Wow. You can see where the claws have just taken that piece right off of there. And how smooth this rock is. From repeated use, it just comes up and down, sliding up and down here. Like I said, I don't see any carcasses in there, so it's not dragging some prey up there. Big triangular chunk taken out of there. Let's see where the claw marks kind of start. There's two triangles there. It's weird. I'm trying to get a piece of rock off of this. Don't know if I can. I definitely can't get up to that area up there. Yeah, look at that. All this area here. Triangular shapes. It's gone up the side of this rock face. And then that. I have a comparison photo that shows a mark with four claw marks. It's taken out that little piece, that little chunk right there. I have a photo that shows that, and they're gone now. So I don't know if that redness is blood or what. But it seems to have washed away in certain areas. Anyway, let me head back towards the mouth of the cave so I can try and grab a piece of rock before I head out. Look at these scratches. Chunks of rock everywhere. Little slices, little tiny little triangles like that. Like I said, just a little tiny one. Yeah, fuzzy, fuzzy. It's only like less than an inch. But it's gone down through that and then continued through there. See? Big slice starting at the top and going right through with a follow through. And big chunks taken out of the rock here. Scratch marks there. Triangular shapes. Look, like that shape. That whole triangular shape right there. Taken out, that one right beside it, taken out. And all these gouges, look at that. Cut right through the rocks. In the triangle right there, how sharp that is. I've got that on the side of a rock that I collected from the other side of the lake. We're kind of heading back in that direction, so maybe we'll just kind of float there. Look at that. That's fresh. And it's freshly exposed. Right there. It's chunks. Oh, it makes this nest a little bigger. A stick there versus a couple of rocks that were there before. And I'd love to get up inside there. Let's see what is there. I can't really see anything, really. Yeah, grab some rocks, you can see it just crushes them, it's just pulverize these rocks. Some of them are falling down, I grab them, I'll try and get some more if I can. But I have bite marks in them and chew marks just on the other side. So I've been trying to get this one right here. Can't get it out. It's wedged in there. You can see just two marks in there. All the way up here. All the way up. It looks like there. I threw a rock up there. You can see all these rocks have been chewed on. Oh, what a nest. It goes way back there. 
way back. Big open area. I'm gonna grab at least one of those rocks. They don't fit together into a puzzle like a couple of them I have, but I'm gonna try and grab a little bit more if I can. I use the pizza method on my uh, on my paddle. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Okay, managed to pull a piece out from this little valley in here. I've been pulling pieces of rock out, but I can't get that one. It's up there. I'm trying to get a few more. But yeah, I got this one. Pulled this out from right between this crack, so it could be part of this rock. But yeah, definitely bite marks on it. It's like a dragon's lair. You can see right in there are the slices on the inside of the cave walls where it's made it wider for itself. And right there, holy crap, look at that slice. That's my throwing my rock in there, but look at that. Claw marks up on that rock right there. Look at that. Big slice mark and some claw marks right next to each other. Big chunks taken out of the rock base. All right. Trying for another piece of rock. Okay, here we go. I've gotten more rocks, a bunch more rocks. Here we go, a bunch more rocks. I pulled out of that little, that little valley there, but I put a rock up there. One of them, I put right there. So we shall see. And I threw another one, little one, right up there. That one is propped up, just sitting there. It'll get knocked over if something comes up over there. Okay, so next time I come back here, hopefully we'll see. I'm gonna slice up there, right there. Look at that. Big old slice in the rock. But yeah, we'll see if anything happens, if that rock is disturbed. Otherwise, there you have it. I'm gonna head back. The weather's starting to get a little inclement. Turning dark and nasty. Big claw marks on the side of the rock. Okay. There you have it. Maybe at some point we'll get a boat that we can get out of and jump right up into that cave and show you the inside. Hopefully not get eaten. There's another one. Every time I look up I see more of these big triangular shapes on the rocks. Okay. Heading back. You can see underneath the water the damage to the rocks. I mean, I've been 15 feet below this. claw marks all the way up the sides of these rocks. Look at that one. This is still nearby the cave. Look at that slice in the rock. And then a little ways down, another slice. I'm coming up there, slice. Man, this thing has sharp claws. You can see all the way coming up in these rocks, the jaggedy, triangular shapes of its claw, claws coming into the rocks and taking out pieces of rock. Anyway, heading back. Looks like there's rain coming. It's a little further past the cave. Again, look at the rock exposed here. And the big triangular slice in there. But you can see this tree in the center of what looks like a nest. All the grass around it, it's all lush. It coils around that tree, that's why the tree hasn't uh, been knocked down. It coils around it. Look at all these marks along the rocks. 
triangular marks, fresh rock exposed. Look at that big old triangle. And slice marks and fresh rock exposed. This is a, I mean, it can come right up here, like a ramp. It comes right up here, along the top. You can see its pathway. And then it can go up there. Or it can kind of go to this one down here, this little oasis. Big chunks of rock taken out up there. Anywho, uh, wow, man, look at that. Yeah, I see co comments on some of these groups where people are saying it's just rocks. Oh, these people. Wow. They must be really trying hard to keep this from being exposed. But the evidence speaks for itself. So many people with disrespectful comments. Everybody's getting out of Dodge. Look at that. I mean, if you look at it from a distance, you can see how much larger some of these prints are. How much larger these creatures get. Anyhow. The wind is starting to blow now, so I'm off. Later, and for God's sake, look up.